hi dreamers welcome back to my channel of roses star and books happy new years and so everyone like uh, so far the year has started off very quiet and i don't know if that's a good sign or like a bad sign for me last year it started off hearing a lot of crazy news so i want to believe that this is a good sign that this year it didn't start up with all those crazy news um this video it will be about two things my year in review for the best or my favorite books of 2020 and also my new year's resolution for my channel because i plan on doing a lot of things for my channel so i want to share that with you guys so i think i'll just start with my year in review because i mean you know start with the old stuff first and then continue on to the new stuff so i have my book here my journal that i kept track every month of the books that i read and like what was my favorite book in that month so let's start with january january my favorite book was well, I had two favorite books. It was Love Her or Lose Her and also Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. And for February, of course, I discovered Red, White, and Royal Blue and I absolutely love it. Like, I've, throughout the year, I've been reading that book like over and over because I just developed a really deep love, a very, very deep, deep love for that book. I just, uh, it just, it's, it's lovely. I love LGBTQ books. They just add this level of depth and goodness to it, you know. March, I, there's something that I can see here, even though it wasn't my favorite book, but I'm gonna skip that person. But I also, I read like a lot of favorite books in March, but the one that I'm going to say that is the top is Where the Crawdads Sing. Like that was a, that book was, I was doing it as a buddy read with um, Bottom of the Bookshelf, Emily from Bottom of the Bookshelf on Instagram. And I, like... I, at first entering into the book, it was, the language was a bit iffy, not like iffy iffy, but like the use of language was, oh, it was hard to read. It was like broken English, even though like I live in a country where they speak broken English, <laughs> I don't speak it that well, so, but it was broken english because she were she was or were young at the time when so they sh the language depicted that you know the language showcased the progress in her language and her speech which was very good you know like if you start off with a character that's young you should know by reading the language that before they even talk about what age the character was by based on the language you should know that that character is young or that character is older or based on the language you can know how educated that character is you know like things like that is should be is very important in a, in a book it's a very important element to learning how to write you know yeah i love that about it you know but the mystery element and everything like that i need to talk about where the crowd i was saying like for itself on this channel because it's really really deep and i read it for my book club again later than in a year and everybody at my book club loved it so yeah 
then for April I read my two favorites Tales of the Night and Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is one of my favorite animes and I've never read the graphic novels or the comics or it or well the mangas for them and I decided to start reading them and of course I loved it and for Death for the Night it was really scrumptious steamy it was a whole lot of goodness and goodies then for me I read Bit Me Bryce and Kevin and next LGBTQ book which I absolutely loved I need to read it over again because I love it so much uh, just and then I read Fence which I also love oh my god I can't wait for the other books in the series because I read the whole Fence series that month like one after the other because I couldn't get enough and then when I reached the last one that was published I was like oh my god why why I wish like authors could just publish the whole series in just a day because like if a book is like really good and you have to wait until the next year and next year for the continuation of the series it's very hard like I'm not a series person but fans well I'm a serious person when it comes to comics and graphic novels and mangas but generally for books no novels I'm not a serious person but oh my god fans I love it I loved it then for June I read The Poet X and Matilda then July I read With the Fly and High by the same author and it it it, uh, it was a whole lot of goodness just as the poet X you know and for August I read the house in the Cerulean Sea then for September I read Breath Eyes Memory and The Roommate that was my top favorite books then I read for October I read in the holidays. Ah uh, it was supposed to be the sun and the and the sundown motel. But I haven't finished the sundown motel. But I know I love it. <laughs> for November I read The Prince and the Dressmaker which I absolutely love. Oh my god that graphic novel it was a beauty lgbtq all the way and then for december i read it ends with us essentially i read a lot of lgbtq books that i loved they ended up being my favorites so yeah that was the year in review for 2020 now I'll talk about what I want for my channel, what I want to do, what, you know, all this goodness. So I want to be more consistent. Let's, let's just start with that. I want to be posting every week. I want to be planning up my videos. I want to, I have like, I, I'm going to be having like a notebook and everything, planning my videos. I've never done that. I've never thought to do that last year. Because essentially it was just starting up and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't know about what I wanted to, uh, the type of videos I wanted to put out. And uh, I need to, you know, really get everything out. I need to write down my ideas and everything like that because I really want I this channel. I want it to be something fun and also um, serious, serious in the sense that 
I'm always home. I never have nothing to do. And I want it to be an outlet for me so that I won't get depressed. I actually feel like I'm doing something, you know. And well, I want to, for my channel, I want you to go on this journey with me of discovering fantasy books and different f books from different genres that I like, especially fantasy, because I've been stuck in um, romance for years and also mystery and crime. Like, I love, love crime and mystery and romance, but I want to branch out from that. I want to branch out. I realized that I read last year I read graphic novels and I tried fantasy and everything like that and I loved it absolutely I tried LGBTQ books like I've never been very much educated on the LGBTQ community like they don't teach that in my country because it's illegal so I never got a chance to dive into that area and that aspect and I really really want to because like my my top top favorite books of last year was in the LGBTQ category and you know like and that's really surprising well kind of surprising not really <laughs> I don't have a problem with LGBTQ my, um, I, I consider myself part of the community um but I wish that I had learned more about the community at a younger age. But it is what it is, you know. So, yeah. What else do I want? I just want to be having fun. I want to make friends. Like, I want to be more... How do you put it? Open. I'm a very shy and reserved person, so I usually don't talk to people. And I don't want that. I don't want people to feel like they can't talk to me or anything. So, yeah, that's what I want for my channel. So, yeah, that's, I think this was the end of the video. Um, so... And I, hmm. so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I already have a video. I started one since last year. So, yeah, so you guys will be seeing more of me. I will try to plan out a schedule and everything. So, when I have more details, you will know. I'll put it in my about, but when I'm posting and everything like that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. All those that do and all those that are subscribed. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Bye.